okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but we all go through a time, some point in our lives where we're just trying to make ends meet. We're just trying to get by. Let's just face it. Society sets us up to fail. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Beauty Mommy. My name is Allie. I know it's been a minute. As you can already tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about 20 plus. I don't even know exactly how many I have, but I know that it's more than 20. But we're going to be talking about some side hustles that can bring you in some extra money that you can start right now today. You can start these from home with things that you already have in your house and start bringing some extra income in. We all know working at minimum wage, working part time while you're still in college and paying bills upon bills upon bills, most of which have added expenses because of your age or because of your inexperience or lack of prior renting history, whatever the case may be, a lot of times it's a lot more expensive for younger people. You know, car insurance is more expensive until you're 25. So you have all these bills that are more expensive because you're young and you can't even work full time because you're in school. Then on top of that, you get out of college and you have all of these student loans but you're working at an entry-level job because well you just don't have the experience so you're not even making enough to really be paying all of those bills and paying your student loans that you spent thousands of dollars for this degree that has you working an entry-level job do you get it do you get what i'm saying like we are just really set up to fail so it's 2020 y'all if you don't have a side hustle what are you doing you need to find you one you need to jump on the train it is that time so today Without further ado, I'm gonna share some side hustles with you. I got my little list here. I'm just gonna run down the list and you just take notes, y'all. If you hear one that sounds like something you could do, get on it. If you hear one that you already have the utensils, you already have everything that you would need to complete this side hustle, then seriously, what are you doing? Like y'all. I just want to throw this little fun fact out there. Any person who is making six figures or more, they have more than one source of income. So if you want to make money, honey, if you want to be the big baller, you're going to have to put in some work and get yourself a little side gig, a little part two, whatever the case may be. And like I said, you're going to have to put in that work. Side hustles don't work unless you do. Dreams don't work unless you do. So that is my motivational speech for the day. I think that I've done my good deed by sharing these with you. Number one, DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart, Postmates. Those are all ones you can literally download the app to your phone. They send you everything that you need and you just drive your little happy car to the places. You know, these ones are really awesome because you can turn on like, okay, I'm going to take orders right now. And then you can pick which ones you're going to do go pick them up and drop them off and then say something comes up you know if you have a very on-demand schedule you're able to just turn off your I don't really know what you want to call it like clock out you just turn it off and you're not taking orders at that time so it's like you make your own schedule you make your own money number two I had instacart but I just said that with the last one y'all it's the same thing it's just groceries instead of food delivery so if you'd rather like go in and do people's grocery shopping look up some reviews because I'm not sure like which one people say they get tipped more you know if you're doing all of these groceries do they leave pretty good tips if you're delivering these food do they leave good tips I don't know y'all number three if you're good at doing makeup if you can slay some faces look it up in your state so where I'm at in Missouri you do not have to have a license to do freelance makeup so look it up in your state you may need to have a certification to do makeup where you are from but if not girl take the makeup you got start doing people's faces start making some money off that stuff girl Number four, if you have a camera or even a really good phone that takes good quality pictures, then go ahead and start offering photography. I actually did my senior photos with someone who used literally her, I think it was like when the iPhone 10 was brand new and she used that and the pictures looked amazing. If you have the right editing apps and the right, you know, settings on your phone camera, cause you can literally tweak your phone camera settings just like a regular camera. So start off that way. And then once you get some money saved up, go get you a camera, like come on y'all it's 2020 there is no need to be making excuses for yourself get it how you live it baby number five if you are super organized and you love planning parties and events then go ahead and start charging for it people have a lot on their plates y'all especially around this time when it's getting ready for the holidays and all of that help people plan holiday parties birthday parties all of that stuff y'all number six you can 
find you a vendor and start selling stuff. Like this is the biggest side hustle right now. People are opening little online boutiques and selling different items. So if you find you a vendor for lashes, for hair, for makeup, for nails, for freaking slides and clothes and you know, jewelry, find you a vendor. Um, I will leave some right up in here. AliExpress um, and Alibaba. Those are two really highly favored websites and apps that you can use to find some vendors, but also do your research, guys. You know, you don't want to have what everybody else has, so do your research. If you're looking for wholesale, when you're doing vendors, you want to make sure that you're paying the wholesale price, otherwise you will never profit. If you're buying a pair of slides for $30, then you're going to have to turn around and charge like 50, 60 bucks to even make a profit, because if you only charge 35, 30 of that you spent to buy them in the first place so you only made five dollars off those shoes so you have to make sure that you're buying at a wholesale price that way when you set your prices you're making a profit and you also don't have to charge so much if you're charging a lot right out the gate people are going to be like uh i don't even know you i don't even know if i could trust you and i can find this shoe way cheaper so i'm not going to pay your price so make sure that you're pricing accordingly and charge and buying at those wholesale prices. Number seven, if you own a Cricut, time to put it to work, y'all. You can use the things that you've made for you and your family and your friends as pictures of the products that you can do. So start monogramming things for people, backpacks, shirts, hats, cups, whatever it is, do custom little designs that you can do with your Cricut and charge for them. The key thing here, guys, is finding what you already have or what you're already good at and charging for it. Set your prices, create some flyers, and start posting. Number eight, this goes along the same lines as the Cricut, but just get crafty and customize things. Customize clothing. You can literally customize anything. I know a few women who handmade um, little earrings they would you know cut out I don't know if they use a Cricut to do it I really don't know but they would cut out the shape of the earrings and the different colors and patterns and shapes and sizes and you know get the little piece that it has to go in so that it can hang in your ear whatever you want to call it you know just come on get crafty Hobby Lobby is around for a reason you, people are making those stacked leggings people are making their own fur slides even so just come on and get creative and do your sh number nine if you have cleaning supplies if you love to clean if this is like a stress reliever for you start advertising you can go clean friends and family's houses and then their friends and family i'm telling y'all where you get in with this is the old people or like the rich people who live busy lives like they're going golfing all the time they're they have events to do and they work lots of business parties and lots of events those are the people you want to get in with they don't got time to clean their house and they would love to pay somebody to do it old people they you know they need the help around the house and actually i think that's another one of my side hustles so we gonna get to that we gonna get to that number 10 and i'm gonna to be running out of fingers to even show y'all the numbers so i don't even know why i'm doing that but it would be babysitting or doing an in-home daycare so if you have the means and you can go ahead and like get it licensed and all of that go ahead and do the in-home do it that way and i promise you can charge more when you're licensed and you got your ish together okay but if not you can just babysit on the side um care.com you can go on there create an account and advertise that you're looking to babysit but you can also scroll through and see in the area where you're looking and see who needs babysitters or maybe some people need nannies um some people need in-home nannies and just different things that people are looking for on care.com go ahead and do your ish so number 11 i know a lot of people have really mixed feelings about MLBs or whatever you want to call them but some of them are really good and that's why they've been around for years. I know lots of people who have been successful with Avon, Mary Kay, Tupperware, Paparazzi Jewelry, um, Beachbody. I mean there's just endless amounts of MLBs. Just make sure before you join one you do your research, talk to other partners, make sure you know what you're really getting signed up for because yeah there are some out there that are scams and they're not in the best interest of their employees. So do your research and make sure that it's one that you're comfortable with and that it meets all of your morals and your values number 12 if you are super into health and fitness and you already are doing your own like meal prepping meal planning in home workouts or whatever the case may be go ahead and start just recording that and taking pictures and videos and go ahead and offer those to people train somebody be a personal trainer you know do what you do and help others and get paid to do it number 13 is lawn care or cutting grass so if you own a lawnmower a weed whacker and a shrub trimmer bush trimmer you're set those three things and you can pretty much do the essential lawn care things do it for old people disabled people busy people who live busy schedules people who don't have time for these little tedious tasks you could be getting paid to do them because you got the time and you need the money 
Number 14, there's a cool app called Rover. On this app, you can see who needs people to walk their dogs or dog sit. And even if you don't wanna use the app Rover, you can just go ahead and advertise your services anyway. People may need a dog sitter or a dog walker in your area, so post it on your Facebook and see who hits you up. Number 15, I knew this one was on my list. So assisting the elderly or the disabled. A lot of times these people can't do everything that they need to do on their own. So like cooking for them, cleaning for them, doing their grocery shopping, whatever the case may be. Number 16, you could do an Uber or a Lyft driving service. If you have a car, why not? I mean, you're gonna drive around and do anything all day anyways. So why not get paid to do it? You know, there's really funny Uber stories too. Like you could be that cool Uber driver that pulls up playing the beats. You know what I'm saying? With the cool lights on the end inside and the dice in the mirror come on now y'all let's make your money make your money you can tell whenever a girl just got her nails done because i'm doing all of this with my hair doing all this with my hands like yes i just got my nails done what i just got my nails done what I just got my nails done. Well, number 17, I don't know if people are still doing this one because I don't really know what's going on with TikTok. Like I've heard so many rumors that it's gonna get taken off and we're not gonna be allowed to use it here in the United States, but whatever. If it's still available, the app called Zen, it pays you to watch TikToks. And then also if you invite your friends, they use your code and then you will get paid for what they watch too. So the more friends you got, the more money you can make, okay? Number 18, people are really into like organic and homemade skincare right now so go ahead and start making like little bath bombs and bath salts lotions soaps lip glosses lip balms all that good stuff that you can make homemade and make it super organic you can advertise better with that because it's homemade and organic and you can charge more because of that and when i was little my grandma and i used to actually make these for family members and stuff at christmas time like we would start probably around now um like fall and we would get it all ready and package it all pretty and sometimes we would even drop like dried floral like dried flower pieces in there so that they looked really like fancy so you could get really creative with it and make it really fun number 19 if you are really good at cooking if you love to cook then start making plates and charging for it people in my town they make seafood plates like fried chicken plates taco plates taco salad nachos that kind of thing so just whatever you love to cook cook it and charge for it you know then you can add little add-ons like a brownie or a soda and get little extra dollars in there with your plate number 20 if you're super good at like math science whatever the case may be start advertising that you are a tutor well you're gonna need tutors it's back to school time a lot of parents are not letting their kids go back to school or a lot of schools aren't even opening so they're at home parents are at work work's not getting done parents don't know how to help them if you know what you're doing then go help those kids and get paid so I just want to say I'm sorry if y'all are like wobbling I have y'all on my bed so when I move, y'all move. Number 21 is clean out your house, your closets, everything, y'all. Clean it out. If you don't use it, if you don't need it, sell it. You can go on Facebook Market. You can create Facebook group pages, like clean out pages where people, you can add people who want to shop. You can create social media pages, like an Instagram page or something like that, where you post strictly what you're selling. You could go on Virage Sale, Etsy, um, ebay you can do a garage sale whatever you have to do to sell that stuff in your house that you don't even need like declutter you will feel so much better after this too 21 is serving so this one's actually like a job like you're gonna go apply at a restaurant and get that job get that bag but serving is definitely a hustle you have to hustle the entire time be on top of your stuff take care of your tables and make your money okay number 23 is youtube so it doesn't pay right away but it's something that is super fun to do you feel good about it you meet good people you make good connections it gives you something to focus on and i'm a soul believer if you do good and you put good out in the world it's gonna come back to you so if you're super dedicated in doing My refrigerator is so annoying. But like I was saying, if you're so super dedicated to YouTube, putting out good content, being a good person, interacting with other YouTubers, then you are bound to start making money from it someday. And y'all, do you see these famous YouTubers? Do y'all pay attention to the ones who have made it big? Because y'all, and like, not that that's what it's about, but they make good money. Like I've listened to some YouTubers talk about how they came from such poor lives and, you know, just regular normal lives, you know, living in poverty or just growing up as the average American. And now they are more than that. They drive nice luxury cars. They live great lives. And you know what? It's because they're good people. It's because they were authentic 
authentic on YouTube. It's because they made authentic relationships, they did authentic things, and brought authentic love and growth to their channel. So, if that's what you want to do, then jump on the bandwagon. I love that so many people in my community are starting YouTube now, and I was inspired by some people in my community, and now, like, I'm seeing so many more people do it now, and I love it. Like, come on, share me your links, I'll go watch your stuff, like, you know i scratch your back you scratch mine this is a community y'all 24 if you are really good at cleaning out cars then go ahead and start detailing cars you could literally do it at your house you could pull up to them and do it at their house whatever 25 and 26 go hand in hand it's just kind of like giving lessons so if you're really good at like music or like playing the piano playing a certain instrument singing whatever the case or like if you have a pool and you can teach swimming lessons um you could even join like a place that already does this you know like join a choir at your church whatever the case may be you could join like lifeguarding and do lifeguarding in the summertime like come on y'all get creative if you're good at it find a way you can do it 27 is also pretty similar but it's like you know just show people teach people classes for like hair makeup cooking painting whatever it is if you're good at it teach a class for it you can literally charge like whatever okay so i'm gonna teach y'all how to make like three meals today and they're all vegan whatever okay so th you're gonna learn three meals breakfast lunch dinner and they're all vegan so a hundred dollars a ticket and this means I have all everything there, all the supplies you need for this class. That's why I'm charging $100 a ticket. Now, if you're gonna do this class and you have to bring your own utensils and stuff, then maybe you'll charge a little bit less because you're not having to supply so much. So make sure you make your money's worth. Know how much you put into it so you know how much to charge for it, okay? Don't be out here doing this stuff and then you ain't having no profit at the end of it. Revenue and profit are different. Revenue is all the money that comes in. Profit is what you actually get to take home after you take out all your expenses, okay? And last but not least, number 20. A. There are little websites, apps, whatever, called TaskRabbit and Fiverr. I will put them right up in here somewhere, somewhere on the screen. I'm going to put them. You can check those out. People have little odd job handyman tasks if somebody needs their toilet unplunged or whatever. Like if somebody needs a little, you know, something fixed around their house. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just little odd jobs and tasks that you can just pick up and do when you want some money. So I hope that this video was informative and gave y'all some new ways to be bringing money into your house. I know 2020 has been hard on all of us and it's really affected our income. A lot of jobs just aren't able to give as many hours or as much pay right now. A lot of places aren't even hiring. So it's just really hard right now, y'all. And I'm just grateful that I am still here. I saw a post today on Facebook that said like, you know, God got me from January to August and I'm still here. I'm not sick. I, you know, I have some source of income. I have a roof over my head. Just those things to be grateful for. Be grateful that we even have all of these different options as side hustles. All of these different things that you could go be making money on without anyone else's help. Like we can literally be our own boss. Start getting into that entrepreneur mindset because with the way that life is shifting in 2020 and beyond, like we are going to have to be really big innovators it's not going to be enough to just sit around and work those minimum wage jobs and just get by y'all we got to want more for us we got to want more for our country and just the betterment of our environment if you're with me if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure that you're subscribed to us because we're gonna have another video tomorrow i'm doing two videos in a row because your girl has been gone for a minute and we back so hit the thumbs up subscribe because you don't want to miss no videos and that's why there's a post notification button thank you so much for the continued support i have not forgot that we reached 100 subscribers so that means we need to do another giveaway it's coming and i can't wait to announce it to y'all because it's going to be so good so good but until next time <laughs>